Well, good morning, good morning, guys. We are still here at the Flying J. It's about 3.30 in the morning. We're gonna go inside and grab ourselves a cup of coffee, wash my face off a little bit, and then we'll be out of here. So let's go inside and have a, grab ourselves a cup of coffee. <laughs> Me 18 wheels rolling down the road Nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Here we go guys We get some Colombian 100%. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, guys, here we are. We got our cup of coffee. We parked over there just temporarily, just so we could get our cup of coffee. And then uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, I know it's quite early in the morning. It's not even that cold, but uh, I was looking at the radar this morning and Looks like it's exactly happened what I was wanting to do is that this uh, snow and rain and all that is east of me now so I'm going westbound so anyways let's get out of here. Well guys here we are at the Petro 2 they call themselves. Let's come inside and let's go uh, eat some breakfast so I'm going to take you guys along today. Have a look at that they got some cool items in here and uh, i want to show them to you sometimes they got a motorbike in here right here in this corner but it looks like they don't have that today but look at all these goodies that they got in here look at these beautiful tables yeah i'm going to show you the bakery up here look at all this big stuff that they got up here they got all kinds of good breads they got a nice big bakery up here some jam oh look at this very nice isn't it yeah, usually they do have some really nice cool items in here. They make nice donuts, all kinds of goodies. They do have a very nice restaurant. Oh, look at these donuts. Look at these humongous donuts. That's a regular donut. That's a big donut. <laughs> look at them. My goodness. Wow, look at these cinnamon buns. That is huge, eh? Wow. Anyways, look at these seats that they got here. Isn't that cool? I think it is. Anyways, we'll go inside and have some breakfast. Alrighty guys, here it is breakfast time. Look at that. We got some rice. That's a Minnesota style omelet. Some multi-grain coffee. Uh, coffee, multi-grain bread and a cup of coffee. And we are ready for breakfast. We have just had ourselves a very nice breakfast. Yeah, now it's time to get out of here. Yeah, we had had our half an hour break that we needed, that we are required to have. Uh, yeah, already got a three hours and 15 minute drive up to here already. We are in Clearwater, Minnesota. The sun has finally popped up. Oh, look at that further north there there's still some dark clouds up there but we are out of the snow right now who knows by the time we get up to manitoba right it could be a totally different story apparently it's supposed to be really cold at home too overnight they were my wife was talking about minus 24 last night and windshield is supposed to be even Tonight colder than that Turn left on the Great River Road, CR 75, and then turn left yeah. to 950 feet. So it was supposed to be a cold one overnight in Manitoba. But up here it's not bad yet, you know. I think when I stopped here it was like minus 6 or something like that. Now remember guys, that's Celsius, that's not Fahrenheit. I'm from Canada, so we go by Celsius. Yeah. Well, same thing in South America. Where I grew up, everything was Celsius as well. But anyways, let's get 
it back on the interstate. And I will put the hammer down again. We did pretty good times up to here. Turn left on MN24. We managed to uh, get through Minneapolis without problems. I think we went through there just before the rush hour started, so that was awesome. I like that very much so. That's right. Ready. Yeah, here we go. We gotta make a few more turns and then we'll be back on the interstate. In a quarter mile, take That's the entrance right. to the right on I 94 West. Yeah, we got 404 miles to go till we will be home. GPS says right now it should be in Steinbach at uh, 2.30. In 800 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-94 West. Which I think, yeah, it's probably going to be a little later than that, but we'll see. Well, yeah, that's uh, probably about a seven hour drive yet. We got 7.36 right now. So that means that 30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30 would be 7 hours. So I'm thinking more around 3 o'clock we'll be at home. would make Continue more sense to me. That's right. But it was was very nice that the moon was out uh, this last night. After a while the clouds started disappearing and then I was able to see that full moon. And I don't know if you see it up there on the camera there, but it was very nice to see the moon for a change, you know. Yeah. Anyways, let's get out of here and we'll get home as soon as we can. We have been cruising along for a good while. We are, matter of fact speaking, we are almost at the border already. That's right. We really are. I think we're at like uh, 188 mile marker and 218 is the uh, border crossing so we are getting very close to the border that's for sure haven't had the need to stop anywhere and uh, do anything so i've just been cruising along and enjoying the uh, beautiful sunshine today since there was a bit of a scare yesterday that I might be driving in snow today and luckily that didn't happen so we are very fortunate about that very happy although my friend there is not so lucky he was up there in Kansas today and he said it was snowing down there and ice rain and all that fun stuff you know so so far he's been able to keep her on the road, but it uh, was very windy, he said, and not a good situation. But. So we can just be thankful today that we have it good. That's right. Yeah, any day without snow and ice rain is a good day. When you wake up and you're feeling good, and you're able to get some miles behind you, just be very thankful for, for that because not everybody is so fortunate to have that you know especially you guys that are in the further south of the United States you don't hardly ever see snow so be very thankful for that because up here we have to deal with that and also we have to deal with uh, freezing fuel all kinds of stuff you know a lot more problems when you got salt and ice you know when you get some snow or something like that in there somewhere, it can expand when the uh, when it turns into ice. 
and it can break things, it can break wires, whatever, you know. But we got a phone call, so we right back. We were just about to hit the border, and this scale apparently is open, so we're gonna have to roll across it. Looks like he's kind of busy right now. He's uh, looks like just one pickup in here, and uh, he's got Play a truck in, uh, in the it's back there. So miles. Turn left I guess he's kind of busy five. inspecting US 81. it. Drive through unless directed. All right. I guess we'll just do that. These guys, they don't even have a. They don't even have a light to tell you what the weight is. They just got a speaker here and if they want you to come in, they will tell you. They will scream at you. But, uh, so far, so good. Going over with the trailer, so... Yeah. Nobody is screaming at me, so I guess we're good to go. Alrighty, guys, we have just crossed the border into Canada, Manitoba. That's right, we are officially in Manitoba. And it looks like that scale is closed today, up here in Manitoba. So we are very, very happy about that. That's right. So we got about an hour and 15 minutes. Then I will be in Staiba, that's right. Now we'll get to enjoy the time with our family and maybe I'll show you them, maybe, just maybe, you never know. I might just show you my family tonight, but you can tell right away when we enter Canada, it's almost, almost always a very rough road as you can probably tell. It's a little bit windy today, but not too shabby, not too bad. Well, there's a Celadon truck. That reminds me of Big Great Talk. Yeah, Jerry Ott, the YouTuber. I know he's off of work right now, off medical leave or whatever. And uh, I, I don't even know what to say really. I can't even imagine having to uh, be off a minimum of five months. I don't know how I would be able to pay my bills. I really wouldn't be able to. I don't, I can't even say that I feel your pain. I really can't. I was talking to uh, Trucker Jukebox. He was the one that was calling me there earlier. Yeah, so if you don't know him, check him out. He's on YouTube as well, just Trucker Jukebox. That's right. He had a very nice dinner there at his cousin. Yep, so we want to get to see those videos. Well, I guess by the time you watch this video, he'll already have released that. Because he's not seven days behind like I am. But, uh, anyways, go check him out. Angie and Chuck uh, show as well. They are trying to get to 50 subscribers. I guess by the time you watch this video, it will already be next month. But their goal was to reach 50 subscribers for this month. They're very close. They're only four away as of yesterday when I looked. They were sitting at 46 subscribers. So they would probably appreciate it if you check them out and subscribe to their channel if you like their videos. And uh, anyways, if you don't mind, share my video as well while you're at sharing. <laughs> we appreciate that, that's for sure. But anyways, let's go home and have some good times at home. If you know what I mean. We have just finished dropping our trailer here at the yard in Steinbach. Yeah, we are literally in our hometown. That's right. You probably are familiar with this road. But uh, I'm going to go over there to the coat and make sure I fuel up. Because I'm almost down to like a quarter of a tank of fuel. And I got US fuel, number two fuel. And I'm thinking I might be better off just go fuel up and get the Canadian fuel that's got conditioner in it so that way I don't all of a sudden have frozen tanks when I wake up Sunday morning you know that could happen <laughs> I don't want that to happen so we're gonna do the safe thing and go fuel up and get some Canadian fuel that's right that's a plan anyways but 
soon as this light will turn green, we can go. There we go. Yeah. It actually looks like it's cold out here today. Probably was colder this morning, according to what my wife said. Just finished fueling up. Yeah. That wind is brutal out there. That is just terrible. It is really cold out there with that windshield. I bet I haven't looked to see what the temperature is, but I guarantee you it is pretty darn cold out there. Seems like the temperature itself is not that low, but the uh, windshield, the windshield is what's going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. But here we are. We are sitting in a warm truck, right? We are comfortable. I feel sorry for all them construction guys out there. They gotta work in this wind, bitter cold wind. I could never do that. My hat goes off. My hat goes off to those guys that do construction up here in Canada in winter time. Man, I could never ever do that. That's just too brutal for me. Yeah, that's right. Then we're gonna go home and go see what the sweetheart has got to say. I'm sure they're going to have, be happy to see me. I'm sure of that. I'm happy to see them as well. Alrighty guys, as you can probably tell, I'm back in the truck. Yeah, that's right. We are back in the truck. That's correct. I got kind of lazy there after I got home. I uh, went inside and the whole kitchen is smelling so beautifully, you know. My wife cooked a very nice dinner. And... Uh, she had a very nice dinner and after I had the meal I was just oh, I felt tired and I didn't really feel like putting a closure into this show so I decided to do it here while I'm back on the road <laughs> and I figured I'd just tell you a little bit about what we had and uh, my wife uh, jokingly said we'll have our own Thanksgiving dinner at home after I got home you know so uh, so what she did is she put a chicken in the uh, in a, in a roaster or whatever you want to call it. It's basically a, a little machine where uh, it's got a, uh, a spear through it and with some hooks. And it hooks into the chicken and it rotates the chicken and it's got a heating element in it. And so it uh, cooks the chicken real nice. No, we didn't have turkey. We're not really into turkey that much. We like it uh, a little bit if it's done outside on uh, with charcoal but not really inside we're, we're not quite used to that just yet and uh, so she made mashed potatoes homemade mashed potatoes gravy everything was homemade she made a very nice pie so we had a very very nice evening and uh, the next day well we got Santa Claus parade in Winnipeg that's coming up tomorrow I really hope that you guys will enjoy it now I don't really do any talking in that video it's solely based on uh, a Christmas parade or Santa Claus parade they call it in Winnipeg now what it basically consists is of uh, a lot of different companies going by with their vehicles and cars and whatnot trucks even semi trucks went by and uh, even some Winnipeg Jets went over it. It's very, very nice show, I think. I think you guys are going to like it. I really hope, anyways, that you're going to like it. So uh, stick around for that. It's coming up tomorrow at 2 a.m. I believe it is. Yeah. Yeah, that should come up tomorrow at 2 a.m. So uh, it's going to be a little lengthy video, that one. I think it came out to like 36 minutes or something like that. But the whole show, like I, when I filmed it, it was like an hour and a half, but I cut a lot of stuff out of it already to try and make it as enjoyable as I could possibly make it for you guys. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate the work that I put into it. It, uh, it probably took me five hours to put that video together to make it work for you, you guys, you know? Because there was a lot of cutting, splitting, and editing, and all that fun stuff, you know? So 
Anyways, that's about enough of me talking. So uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Well, I guess maybe you won't see me too much tomorrow, but you'll see a video tomorrow. And uh, let me know in the comments down below on if you liked it or not. I mean, it's different, you know. And uh, some people might like it, and some people may not like it. But whatever, I, I, I enjoyed it. And uh, if you don't like it, well, too bad. I, I'll have different videos all the rest of the days. <laughs> And uh, anyways, that's enough for me. We'll see you guys on the next one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.